welcome everyone back this is game two for amateur to the two league season six this is the EU entry level playoffs between Chameleon Z and ARX Toto uh, this is a recast for the playoffs game set um, we have ARX taking game one and we are now viewing game two once again we do see ARX Toto banning the axe and a quick ban coming up from the from Chameleon Z Clockwork will be banned and Troll Warlock will be banned out too of course Axe and Troll Warlock being some pretty standard heroes to be banned out faceless wipe of course now with the rework modder um, Lion being picked up as their first pick pairing up with a faceless wipe and we may be able to see some very pretty crunch fair coming out from this games but depends of course how good it goes Brewster back is being picked up by Chameleon Z as their second pick following by the Avengers Spirit pick Ancient Apparition will be banned out as a third ban and then Dying will be banned out by ARX Toda. not much thoughts being given to the ban phase is going pretty quickly from the pick and ban phase actually going very very quickly Lion being picked up as a support definitely <laughs> Um, one of the best support, I personally believe. Adventurous Spirit picked up by Chameleon Z once again. They, she had some pretty good swap, defensive swap last in the first game, but the game didn't go well. Of course, they had some terrible, terrible decision makings in that game, and which really, really cost them the game. Anyway, Skyruff Mitch being banned out as the fourth man. Um, and Viper will be banned out by ARX by their fourth man. As you now go into third pick, Mr. Back pick up earlier as their second pick by Chameleon Z as was saying before this the last game went really really badly um, things started falling apart especially in their first fight when they really had some terrible decision making at the Roshan pit like just four of that four of the heroes came up and fought against five from ARX while Lycan stayed in the Roshan pit and soloed the Roshan and at the end they lost four like could try to finish the Roshan and failed to finish the Roshan he, he actually he did finish the Roshan but uh, Aegis was snatched by ARX Dota and he died so it was a 5 for nothing and ARX Dota got a Aegis out of there third pick will be the Elder Titan a pretty powerful hero but we don't see it pick very often because it is also a pretty weak hero honestly anyway we will go into the third pick from Chameleon Z right now a uh, the Titan of course could be played as a support or maybe even an offlaner though we don't see that as often definitely uh, the Titan works very well with the uh, faceless white if you manage to trap a few of them in there and drop your spirit you are able to burst down a lot of enemies Especially the bench with spirit, considering that um, Bristol back not that easy because Mr. Back relies on damage reduction instead of armor. So the Elder Titan just remove hundred percent of its armor. So that's the important thing right there. Oh, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. But anyway, we have Abaddon being picked up as a third pick from the by Chameleon Z who is trying to get a game back in right now and we will have Silencer being picked up I'm personally not too sure how good the Silencer will do Global Silence does annoy the Bristleback definitely it prevents the build up from attack and attack speed and movement speed doesn't doesn't really affect the Venture Spirit or the Abaddon too much but a Team Bissol will be picked up and that's definitely not a hero that wants to fight against a Global Silence not too sure why they still decided to pick up a Timbersaur. Tidehunter might have been a much better pick. But especially considering the setup this the ARX Dota team has, a Tidehunter would be able to turn the setup up very very well, especially considering if you jump in with Chrono Spirit catching a lot of peeper. Um a Tidehunter's Ravage follow up by the end of the Chrono Spirit would be an excellent turnaround for Chameleon Z but anyway we do have a Timbersaw being picked up which arguably does work pretty well you can throw your ultimate in with the Chronosphere up and of course your ultimate does still do damage if it's already up and you are caught inside the Chronosphere 
Necrofoss will be banned out as the fifth ban from ARX Total and Witch Doctor and other team fight hero will be banned out by Chameleon Z. That's probably just trying to limit the team fight potential. Phoenix will be picked up as the fifth ban. A very very powerful team fight potential right now. We have a Chronosphere following up by the Earth Split and a Sun this Phoenix Ultimate what on Earth is it called Supernova that would do a lot a lot of damage for a short period of time. We do have a four second chronosphere coming up and imagine that coming over the four seconds um, supernova that would be actually 240 magical damage coming up there and a 65% or 35% damage from the Elder Titan ultimate and that could be followed up by global silence at the end of that so we do have a mid hero missing here um, I do believe the silencer will be the mid hero the safe lane faceless white will be protected by the lion and the other titan and the off lane phoenix will solo the lane we do have a bristle back on the off lane and no actually a bristle back looks like the carry the safe lane ca the carry protected by the abaddon and the venture spirit and the timbers will likely go onto the off lane they do lack a mid hero that works well with the silencer so I'm not too sure what hero they will go for mid heroes are of course very reliant on your player's ability to play the hero um, Storm is not going to be a good pick, you have a silencer on the other hand you have a chronosphere to deal with and Storm doesn't do well against the phoenix either of course you do have a double disabler in the lion uh, Storm will be a terrible pick actually and I just slapped myself in the face right there. Storm Spirit will be the pickup. Personally, do not like that pick. Um, it doesn't do well against the Phoenix FC. Global Silence just screws with you. Um, you get caught in the Chronosphere and you're dead. Um, you don't do well against the Phoenix. You have a double disable coming up from the Lion. And basically all the heroes work against them I don't see how Chameleon Z is going to be able to do well in this game but we'll see how it plays out ARX does have a one game cushion to carry this forward um, we'll see how it goes I don't like the storm pick that's one I don't personally do not like the Timbersaw pick either Timbersaw does not work well in the Chronosphere. Once you're caught in the Chronosphere, you're technically screwed. Once you're caught in a Global Silence, you're technically screwed too. There is no rear um, attack speed coming up from the Chameleon Z's lineup to deal with a high level Phoenix Supernova. Um, I'm not sure. The draft is looking pretty bad for Chameleon. But of course, draft don't really renew the game most of the time. It still goes back down to execution, and I do personally think Chameleon Z has a big early game advantage if they are able to pressure and get a lot of advantage out of their early game before most of the heroes get their level eleven. Level 11 point is a key key point for ARX Toda. The Global Silence becomes significantly more effective at 5 seconds. Um, the Supernova becomes significantly more effective at 8 hits. And of course 80 damage. Uh, Finger of Death doesn't change much but at level 11 he does have a better spread out between his skills. Um, and of course Faceless Void requires a significant amount of farm to be quite useful. Um, beyond that, he won't be able to do much. And before the level 11, of course, um, Storm Spirit is able to throw out between level 6 to 9 and 10, where most heroes are. Storm Spirit is able to throw out a ridiculous amount of burst damage and deal with a lot of um, Faceless Void. Um, it can deal with Silencer, it can deal with um, Lion. Even Elder Titan, it can kill them really, really fast. Timbersaw two. Once you get this first damage into this, you you, you do a pretty quick burst damage of like two hundred and fifty within a very short period of time. And all these series don't do very well against quick burst damage at the early period of the game. Once they get a high lever though, um, between like um, I would say you become very comfortable at level thirteen. 
once they reach a level 13 and 14 range, uh, the ARX lineup would really turn up, turn up and become a much harder game for Chameleon unless Chameleon Z is able to pressure early and gain a lot of advantage. If you have a Storm Spirit at level 16 while well, your Void is like level 12, then the Storm Spirit will be able to dominate. Otherwise, if it's equal level, I do not see the Storm Spirit being able to do much. And we do have a stun coming out with Speedy right here. He's being burst down pretty, pretty low, but nothing much will be follow up from there. Silencer will pick up the Bounty Rune as Storm Spirit will pick up the other Bounty Rune. So, one war each. It looks like we will have an aggressive trilane on the top. Bristleback will be going on to the top with two protections from um, the, the Vengeful Spirit and the Abaddon actually. Now Abaddon just trying to do a little bit of harassment there, prevent them from just trying to block out this thing. Sentry Ward being dropped down but I don't think it's within range. Timbersaw will go onto the safe lane and solo against the solo um, Phoenix. So I guess once they saw the Phoenix they notice it's not exactly the best hero to fight against so they just don't want to fight against it uh, to kill I mean it's not exactly it, it is a low armor and low HP hero but this escape mechanism is just a little bit too good so I guess they don't want to do that and I believe with the support they are able to harass this faceless void a lot and it's important to keep a faceless void level low with a low level faceless void um, Storm Spirit is at a better position to kill him and as you can see Storm Spirit does pretty well against a silencer this looks like some pretty aggressive thing coming up right there um, Dabber skill right now it might be able to kill him but actually not enough he will be able to just tangle himself up a little bit silencer is getting pretty low so there is some danger right there Pushing the lane pretty aggressively right now, Chameleon Z trying to force this early advantage that they have and just trying to get as much out of that as possible. Stunts coming up on the Elder Titan and just some harassment being thrown out. Bristleback continue to farm, now leading the chart along with some spirit actually. Starting to, uh, not really starting to win the lane but they're pretty even up, especially on the Nine Creep. Um, the Phoenix starting to take a slight advantage over the. This, I believe it should be getting some a little bit of experience advantage over the Timbersaur and there you have the silencer actually doing pretty well against the Storm Spirit right now farming to the silencer is of course extremely vulnerable to gang there's no defensive ward coming up from there uh, will be harassed away this Elder Titan Water is available on the silencer. He will pick up invisibility rune in the border. Being used right now, maybe trying to get a kill onto the Storm Spirit who does not have enough mana, but he will back away and he will get his border right now. So he will drink up the border and he will be out of range of a gank. Uh, the Bristle back is an annoyance to deal with for the for any melee hero actually. So putting the two supports here with the Bristleback does allow him to put a lot, a lot of pressure on the Faceless White. As you can see the Faceless White isn't actually doing really well on farm. Definitely because of the Bristleback just spray. If you stay, in the, if you stay near your creeps to farm you just get spray stacks against you and it does a lot of damage early game. And it is a ridiculous hero to deal with earlier. And actually, Timbers are starting to get in a pretty good range right now. And yep, yeah, Storm Spirit getting harassed out of the lane. Uh, Silencer should have an advantage. Yes, he does have a 200 to 300 experience advantage. And we do have an aggression coming up onto the Faceless Void. Shield being thrown out. And nothing, not, not much to follow up from there. Um, Storm will bother himself up. Silencer does still have a border charge. And I'm not sure whether we have a rune up top. Say we're using the directed camera. I'm not too sure what's wrong with my on spectator mode. It doesn't work too well when I control the camera myself. I'm not too sure why. Maybe just a bug or something. But Bristleback having a few day up top and just able to zone the faceless void out. But the last thing they want is to give away a kill right now in this lane, especially to the faceless void. They have managed to zone the faceless void out really, really well. He is losing up on farm. Um, on the other hand, the 
Phoenix here might be able to get first blood on the Timbasaur and the Timbasaur trying to run out I uh, don't think he will be able to get a kill right now but Timbasaur isn't doing very well right now so a kill would be pretty important actually Timbasaur doing pretty well on farm I haven't looked at his farm for a while and he's actually picking up an experience too but still very very close by um, he managed to self himself up definitely to just back to this. He's working, I'm not so sure what he's working towards a straight arcane boots. He does have enough amount for arcane boots engagement onto the Phoenix. Managed to get away right there. Not enough to kill him. Very, very close by. But if Timberson manages to get a kill, that would be end of the day, honestly, because that's a major, major, that's a major, major just um, thing to get. So. Because oh, uh, because the off lane, especially when you have a solo one on one, any lane actually giving away the kill gives the opponent a major major lever advantage. And of course, a slight go advantage in the early game. Aggression coming up on the storm again, being harassed, um, just being harassed and very annoying right now. But storm is suffering and losing the lane quick pretty badly to the silencer. But up top though, uh, faceless void is being zoned out pretty badly. Crystal back is also having a pretty nice day now. Working very very close to his vanguard. No first blood coming up yet. So a, a first blood definitely is a major thing to give away right now. All their lanes are pretty equal. And Storm Spray is obviously losing the middle lane right now. Oh a vet invisibility room will be popped and used right now. So a storm spirit at level 6 who is losing his lane the first thing the last thing you want to do actually is to give him a kill right now and bottom lane similarly the Timbersaur and the Phoenix is having a very equal lane the last thing you want to do is to give away that kill and tip the balance the silencer in the middle who is winning his lane is a kill and death is also the last thing you want to give away some spirit is staying up top and will not be able to get a kill that he wants so wasted some time standing up there now he will tp back to the middle silencer will walk down and not find a rune so that's a slight waste of time right there from the silencer too he will come back to his daily job of harassing this storm spirit but now storm spirit is in a pretty decent place to actually kill the silencer he does try to bottle himself up right now um, a lot of harassment coming up onto the phoenix and actually Timbersaur is in a pretty good position to attempt to burst him down except for the creep wave position he is a little bit too close to the bottom tower he doesn't want to dive down onto it he does some use the ultimate now to cancer up the thing up ultimate does not connect he is trapped down inside now phoenix does have a dive and will use the dive to get away from there slows down coming up from timbersaur and continues to farm out timbersaur now, now the top farmer on the um radiant side as phoenix is uh, phoenix is actually pretty up top too supernova being used right now to try to survive this thing maybe able to get, get a kill in timbersaur but timbersaur does manage to get away no first bird right there supernova also used to prevent that first bullet and get that first bullet some spirit now walking away Silencer following very very closely, but he will give up. No fights intended. Now Timbersaur is in a bad position. That hook should not have connect. It's not what he wanted. And the flame will, will hit. He does manage to pull himself away. And first blood will go the way of the Phoenix. And as mentioned, first blood would probably be the start of all the bad things you want. And first blood will go away way of the Phoenix. And Timbersaur is in a bad position now. Stunt coming up from the silencer. Global silence is available and being used. Not enough to bring the silencer down. As you can see, silencer does manage to get away. Two TPs being traded in though to keep the silencer alive. And the silencer, the top farmer right now, does manage to stay alive. This creates a lot of space for the faceless white to farm. Faceless white is standing right there. I'm not too sure what he's doing. He's being slowed down right now. He does have a time warp. We'll save it and not use it. Looks like they are interested to chase down on this Vengeful Spirit. Flame being used down on the Vengeful Spirit. This looks like he's dead. And Vengeful Spirit will go down to the Phoenix. Two levers, two death for the Phoenix. Phoenix lever is extremely important. He Midas is being picked up. Double ring, not uncommon. You do see a lot of people trying to pick up double rings right now just to gain a lot of armor. 
Uh, Midas is being picked up. He's trying to get his level 11 as quickly as possible, which is an extremely important. As I spoke at the start of the game, the, um, it's really, really important to have that double um, to have that level 11 because it increases it to 8 hit instead of just 5. However, they do have a very major problem. Their faceless void is extremely under farm right now. Though arguably Chameleon Z Stompsbury is struggling too. I did mention at the very start of the game that even before they picked the Storm Spirit, I mentioned Storm Spirit would be a terrible pick in this game. And as you can see, the Tom Storm Spirit is struggling really, really badly. And looks like he might be a turnaround right here. If he does get a kill onto Phoenix, and he does, then sadly the Storm Spirit does not make it there in time to get the experience. Much needed experience for the Storm Spirit actually right now. And one kill does go the way of the Timbers also. That is a return kill coming the way of the Timbers. Sorry, engagement now onto it. Stun being thrown out onto the Bristol back. Shield 2. Looks like maybe even to be able to burst down this line. He is diving for this. He changes his target now onto the Void. But will not chase under the tower. Kill coming up from the Abaddon onto it. Um, some harassment coming out onto the Storm Spirit. And as you can see, that's a problem with the Storm Spirit. You cannot jump on the silencer once he sees you because a last word will be able to do a lot of stun comes up on the faceless boy manages to dodge it global silent being used but bristleback will get a kill right there boss man is being used by on the faceless boy trying to get a kill onto the red boy sorry onto the vengeful spirit supernova now gets a double kill on the both support he's now in a very good position to get a kill onto on a triple kill actually if on the bristleback bristleback does manage to run away timbers of comes in right now it's a two for two straight two support for a carry and a support actually void now being in a dangerous position they may be able to turn this around and he does turn this around this now it's a three for two cyrus now being used bristleback may be able to Nibra brought down Silencer does manage to bring the Timbers Bristol back down and Finger of Death will get the security kill onto the Timbers or it's a 2 for 4 in the end 2 for 3 is actually, sorry He's under the vision of this sentry ward, but he will walk out of the sentry ward, so... This looks like they scouted the... Storm Spirit. The Storm Spirit has actually no kill involvement right now. Doing really, really terribly. And... The... ARX lineup is really starting to pick up right now. Though I'm not sure why the Elder Titan is so low on levers. The Elder Titan is actually only level 3 right now. Extremely under lever. That might be a game affecting later. But it looks like they're all doing pretty well. Um, of course, Faceless Void is actually very under lever too. Phoenix has and Silence and Joseph is level 11. Sound Spirit is level 8. Extremely under lever. Timbersaur has his level 11. Bristleback 7. Um, so I think the ARX does have a slight experience lead. Storm Spirit will use himself to blink up. And Abaddon now at the back. Ultimate pops up, heals himself up to full HP, and he will just walk out of there. Shield being used onto the Bristol back to try to force this whole group of people back. Uh, Ghoul being speed up onto the faceless boy. He does have a time walk and a chrono sphere ready. Tim, uh, so Lion being used to suck up all the mana is there, but and Lion will go down. Storm Spirit blinks in. Silence of Global Silence being thrown out right now. Storm Spirit being harassed down. He does get the last hit onto the Faceless White, and Elder Titan will go down. This fight is turning out really, really badly for ARX Total. Storm Spirit must try to get out of there alive, and but he will go down. Two INT lost to the Silencer. I believe yes, uh, Supernova is being used at a very bad position, he does have his level 11 but he is being killed by the Bristleback right there. Bristleback is probably the only hero with enough attack speed to bring that thing down quickly. Silencer now in a very bad position, Gooding speed up, does not have enough mana to continue this chase. Double TP, triple TP actually coming in and they will be forced to move away from this. Bristleback staying there, stands up, looks like he will go down and 
he will go down right now hex being jumped up him or being thrown up then he will go down no swap coming up from adventure spirit probably knowing it's not worth it and he'll being used by the abaddon to just pop his ultimate but it doesn't really matter his ultimate cools down really really quickly by the time he walks up back to base and back up his ultimate is probably ready already and that fax actually turns out pretty well and some spirit now disconnecting it does look like chameleon is suffering from pretty significant internet problems i'm not too sure how bad is it but they seem to be DCing quite a lot I think as you can see we do have a significant problem on ARX being that the Elder Titan is extremely under lever Faceless Boy is also under lever and under farm right now he only has 3000 value behind the storm that has suffered terribly in his lane he now has one two kills involvement a kill and a support um, though I think he did get the experience on the first kill up top we should dive in and try to deal some damage but he did not get the damage um, of course the supports are at a better level uh, we have a 7 and a 4 and we have a 7 and an 8 right here uh, Timbersaur is equal with the Phoenix and that's actually a bad thing because the Phoenix went for a Midas and do you do expect the Midas to be um, a level or two above especially considering it's been six minutes already so you do expect him to be at least half a level above the Timbersaw right now though it will start to pick up soon hopefully uh, he is about to complete his mechanism very very quickly and Timbersaw probably working towards a blink dagger right there uh, no arcade no no vanguard yet on the brister back uh, soul ring being picked up right here nothing much worked up uh, stop space looks like he's working for an orchid malevolence four stuff up on this silencer uh, mechanism completed on the phoenix right now uh, mass of madness as we have observed in the last team fight already available on the faceless void more heals coming up right now Brister back does blinks in Shu being thrown out on the final hit just to deny a last hit right there which is really cute they try to deny that last hit and 3 on 3 up top in a position Timbersaur also not the best hero to deal with this silencer but I dive now re-engage oh no just just a dive of harassment just to have a look right there don't think some spirit fingers fast enough to throw a pull right there Goo being spit up onto the face of sword trying to throw as much harassment as possible mana drain being used to suck or the mana out of the Bristol back that's probably a really really good thing lion deals with Bristol back really really well taking away all his mana I just I do think ARX Dota's lineup is a much better lineup against Chameleon's lineup but it's still down to execution as you can see the last fight wasn't executed really really well the laning phase was executed really well especially the top aggressive tri lane Chameleon Z executed it really really well so even um they won that lane pretty badly i would say chrono spirit being used now onto two silence being used i'm not sure why they are all attacking the bristle back from the back right now all the damage being thrown out on the bristle back at the back tanks up a lot of damage right there faceless boy will go down bristle back stays alive <laughs> The Bristol Bank just managed to stay alive and blinks in. Now Silencer goes down. That was a terrible fight. Sun comes out on the Elder Titan. Elder Titan will be able to run down. Swap being used onto the Lion and confirm the Lion kill down right there. 4 for 0. That was a terrible fight. I'm not sure. With a Chronosphere onto the Bristol Bank, you should not hit the Bristol Bank from the back. Finger of Death was also used from the back. Arguably, Finger of Death could not be used from any other direction because you would have to walk into the Chronosphere. But the Void. The faceless boy has to walk to the front of the Bristol back, which he did not. And the Bristol back manages to stay alive right now. He now TP in. Timbersaw gets out of there alive too. And 4 goes down to Chameleon. And looks like there will be a deny coming up in the mid tower. So the Dire does lose two, 2 towers. So. <laughs> oh. We apologize but I should switch it to the default it is pretty annoying when it's not the default so ARX Toda having the better lineup but definitely not doing well on execution this 
definitely not doing well in execution. As you can see, the Void is very, very under farm. Elder Titan still does not have his ultimate. And you see, the Void is actually even afraid of a simple brisk. Uh, say engagement here onto the Elder Titan. A lot of burst damage coming up. This may be a kill right now. Timbersaw in a position. He's there has safe ultimate and he's in a position right there. Disconnect stun disconnect right now. And faceless boy is in a dangerous position. Curse of silence being thrown out right now. Stun coming out. Lion taking a lot of damage. Storm Spirit comes in, in to finish up the sniper but hacks up and sticks up. Chronosphere does catch up, but the Chronosphere is thrown right at the time of his death. Storm Spirit goes in, but he does go down. Lion does exchange for that health. One for two right now. Faceless Void goes down and die. Bristleback is in a dangerous position right now. Shields up, thrown, being thrown out onto the Bristleback, and he will coming out. Abaddon's ultimate not popped up yet, so it looks like Abaddon will stay and fight. They want to kill this. Uh, looks like they won't be able to get a kill. That wasn't the best decision to stay and fight, and Phoenix will get a double kill right there. But the double kill is also followed by some push onto the tower, though not much. I don't think that was actually remotely worth it. That was actually a very big goal swing the way of um, ARX. So looks like there was good execution, good fight coming up from ARX stored out right there. And as you can see, if executed reasonably well, ARX stored us lineup strives against um community swap being used onto the phoenix but it will not connect looks like storm will be able to get a solo kill on the faceless void that's a major major kill for the storm he needs that level he needs that experience he needs that goal and he will get that kill right there a solo kill off the faceless void and the faceless void will continue to fall down he is now six just slightly above the support bench with Spirit on Chameleon Z. Not having a very good game at all, actually. He's having a terrible game, to be honest. Um, Storm Spirit now from a struggle throughout the whole game. He is now leading the net worth chart. He does have his orchid malevolence and he will be able to pick the silencer and or the faceless one. He will be able to pick a lot of heroes up. Surprisingly I must say he struggled the early game and he is now turning coming back on. And he does manage to bring himself out of that. And the orchid malevolence is an important pickup. He does help to deal with all these heroes. Um, he just jump in no chronosphere coming up. Um, Storm Spirit just managed to get out of there. Rune being popped. He will just bottle a little bit of mana out. We will picked up an Illusion Rune right now. Jumping in an Illusion Rune. He's level 12, sticking up. Uh, Timbersaur has his Bloodstone already. Manchester Spirit working towards probably an Eel Scepter, considering the Void Stone being picked up. Storm Spirit um, out with the Arkham 11. So no idea what he's going for next. I'm not too sure what this side is going for. Two Bristol back does have a Vanguard and a Blade Mail Four Staff going for a longer Global Silence key item against the Storm Spirit and the Timbersaur and also the Bristol back definitely. You do not want the Bristol back to gather attack speed or damage, which is damage works well against everybody. <laughs> Attack speed works well against the Phoenix, and of course, uh, you need reasonable amount of attack speed to be able to just kill the faceless void because of the amount of dodge coming up from the faceless void um, no significant items being picked up beyond just that uh, no one else has anything significant to him faceless void is being killed so often that he cannot increase his value the last time we checked his value was about 3000 then after that fight it was like 3004 now it's 3008 so he really isn't gaining much phoenix even with the midas isn't really doing much and Crossfire will be used right now and he looks like he's trying to burst down one of the supports but he will not be able to do much he's now trapped in a dangerous position global silence being used phoenix uses up the ultimate at a very bad position lion big being picked off at the back timbers are now in a dangerous position and will go down but faceless white will go down too supernova already used at a bad position silencer will go down the back to the abaddon one down for three right now phoenix now trying to run swap being used 
Um, no stats coming out from the magic missiles without enough mana, and it looks like you'll be getting some harassment from the tower. Just trying to get the clue down to dive. 18 seconds. I don't think you're a bit of a that Storm comes in and silence the Phoenix up, who will go down to the triple Q going the way of the Abaddon. That is four deaths for nothing. And personally, I see this as just terrible execution from ARX. Really, really bad right there. As you can see, the Phoenix ulti ultimate being supernova being used at a bad position did not catch anyone. Global Silence used defensively to try to retreat Chronosphere or so used and just not much being done with the Chronosphere. To be fair to the face as well, he doesn't have the item required to do anything with his Chronosphere. He does not have the damage output, he does not have the level in general and as you can see he, he did went for the greedy time lock build which gives him the more aggressive um, being able to do more bash but uh, he is being pressured so much that he is not being able to make full use of that build if he would have went for a max backtrack he might have been able to survive more fights and stay alive longer uh, as you can see now Sound Spirit leading the chart, Timbersaur and Bristabat right behind him and the Midas on the Phoenix actually is a thousand gold behind the Bristabat. This looks like a major major league. It is it is a twelve thousand gold lead away of Communion Z and a ten thousand experience lead going the way of Communion Z too. They will get the Roshan and Storm Spirit will pick up the immortality and regeneration given to the Storm Spirit there right now actually it looks like we will have some not much coming out there uh, give me a shot minute I'll come back up to you that is quiet I gotta wake up at 7 tomorrow oh okay, okay I don't wanna hear any fucking noise alright that I have to tone myself down a little bit I have a rather annoying roommate to deal with and so I don't think I'll be able to do game 3 today but anyway this recasting will come on and farming coming up stone spray going up to the 10k value on go chart pouring really really close right now this have a regeneration rune and a guess will be able to put a lot of pressure right now so it does it is up to 14,000 gold and we do have an experience going beyond the 10,000 gold following the roshan kill more pressure coming out of the bottom tower trying to secure that bottom tower right there so like that. they are interested to engage onto the uh, expansion spirit just doing some farm getting a little bit of some key items being on the eel sector that she has picked up looks like faceless but does throw some of maximum madness no chronos were being used right now chronos were is now being used to try to secure this kill onto the timber zone a lot of ultimate global silence not being used but they will get the kill right there and they will lose this top t1 tower though t1 tower goes down Looks like now Arcade okay, Malevolence will be used. Global Silence being used to prevent the Sound Spirit from getting a lot of kills. Eel Scepter being used onto the Faceless Void, but he will be able to get out there. And now Virgil is being caught right now. Abaddon's ultimate pops, and he will get out there alive. So, nothing much following up from there, but Bristleback's in a pretty close position. The TP being used, nothing much to Bristleback to go stop that. So, he'll just give up and go back to farm. Uh, deny coming up from the top tower first tower down for ARX they will get a denied tower and just 
starting to look really really bad 14,000 gold read experience coming back after the death of the timber saw though they do get a tower out of that 15 more seconds for Abaddon to have his ultimate back up And Storm Spray just jump right now in silence being used onto it. Chrono Spray being uh, no Chrono Spray actually, Chrono Spray is down right now. Ultimate being used, trying to get the tip Storm Spray down, but Storm Spray does go down, but he does have an A gives two kills, three kills going away the Storm Spray comes back up to finish up the silencer who gets to secure a kill onto the Bristol Bag. This scepter being used, Supernova completed and ultimate being used right now, but he is looks like he will be brought down. And Storm Spray does get a double kill right now. Five kills, team wipe right there, and maybe two lanes of racks, but once again, this team without the Bristol Bag doesn't look like they have enough sufficient damage, right? I think the Demons did buy back. Yes, Bristol Bag did buy back. Um, Phoenix now buys back two buys back two buy back available on the Void and the Lion. Lion does not have his ultimate for a really really long time. Faceless Void does have his ultimate, but I don't think as much Faceless Void can do right now. Visible is coming back up in five seconds. Storm Spirit does come. Um, Storm Spirit might jump in. No jump coming up right now. They do have four heroes right there. Team uh, Faceless Void is TPing in and a Chrono Spear might be used immediately. Nope, no Chrono Spear being used immediately. Storm Spear jumping out of the Lions. Lion might be brought down right now. That team does get a kill on the Lion. Chrono Spear catches nothing and Void goes back down immediately. And looks like this is a lane of racks. 40 seconds on the sideline for Faceless Void and Lion actually. So it doesn't look good for ARX Soda at all. Sentry board and observer ward being dropped down onto this top lane. Um, another 10 second sideline for the lion and 20 seconds for the faceless void. Faceless void does have a T1 just used though. Faceless void course GG, and there you have it. GG is being caught. And more kills just coming out. Elder Titan being chased down, but not in time. We does have this. We will go to a game three. Two games down, one game for each team. Some Brilliant, excellent execution coming up from Chameleon Z this time following their last game, which was actually some really, really bad execution. So, just bouncing up and down right now from both of them. So, we will go to Game 3, which I will cast tomorrow. Because I am pretty, because of my roommate, which is an annoyance right now. He is complaining that it is a little bit noisy. So I will not cast the third game until tomorrow. It's only 11 right now. But, well. I'll see you tomorrow then. Goodbye.